I hide, to carry out the mission assigned to me, and for the love of country. I was considered dead, and over half a century later, I resurface. Surrounded by devices unfamiliar, I fight to protect myself. How I wander into this night is a mystery. I hope that you may forgive the lack of details. I am only a guest. Hello there, I am Akatsuki. Originally, I come from the series known as Akatsuki Blitzkampf, and I am also the EXS of Thunderclap Blitzmoda. Will you aid me on my journey tonight? I am in your debt. I finally made it back to dry land. Where am I? It appears I dropped from exhaustion while smuggling myself onto that ship. But the air is strange here. This cannot be the same country as before. As the Great War ended, we smuggled countless secrets out the Third Reich. Our mission was to transport a secret weapon capable of turning the tides of war. The Blitz Motor. Unfortunately, we were shot down over the Arctic Ocean. Thankfully, I managed to survive due to being able to go into hibernation. But when I woke up, the war was over, and half a century had passed. In the event the mission fails, destroy the Blitz motor and erase all traces of his existence. All that is left for me to do is to fulfill those orders. It's almost evening. I shall procure all necessary intelligence before sunrise, and then assess the situation. But first, perhaps a light snack. One cannot hope to fight on an MT, something or other. Immortalize! Akatsuki! Eltnum! Akatsuki? Sir, what brings you here? Who are you? I don't recall having any underlings. <laughs> I understand. You and I simply choose to walk different paths. But seriously, don't sweat the details. You are, without a doubt, my shining star. My hero. Not only of the world, but of me. But how could you walk away from Naomi? The land you love so dearly, and instead live for Negisa? Also, why have you returned to this place of unimaginable carnage? Are you supposed to be speaking in some kind of code? What exactly are you talking about? Stop. I don't want to hear any more of your excuses. The bottom line is you betrayed us. And I too have fought for survival these long ten years. I'm not the helpless little chick I once was. Regardless of what you think of me, this is my character. This is who I am. I cannot change that any more than I can stop myself now. In this country, there is a saying. If you're going to eat the poison, you might as well clean the plate. There is a certain persuasiveness to relentless insanity. Well, I say there's no point in saying anything more. Do you understand why I'm trying to get at- Hey! Where are you going? Akatsuki, please don't run away from me! Ugh! If you want me to be the bad guy here, I've got no problem with that. I'll just jump you from behind to put an end to this horrible tragedy. Immortalize! Akatsuki. Hilda. What's with those clothes? Uh, are you supposed to be some kind of soldier? I mean, I certainly wasn't expecting to see any cosplayers tonight. You must be mocking us. Or are you extremely confident in your abilities? Cosplay? I have no idea what you are talking about. No matter. I have some questions for you. Where am I? And who are you? Where is this? Why in the heck are you asking that for? Did you hit your head or something? The times have changed quite a bit. The scenery here is unlike anything I remember. And do not worry about my head. I might be a little sleepy, but at least that is fine. Your appearance. Don't expect me to believe you're an amateur who happened to stumble into this night, do you? And here I thought you might have some ability. And by the way, who are you? I'm just a foot soldier. Hmm. Well, it doesn't really matter. But don't expect to walk away with your limbs intact. 
now that you've encountered me. I'm sorry, but I'm going to need you to die. Oh. Going by your appearance, I thought you were one of those professionals who ply their trade at night. But now, I think you're more. I've seen a woman just like you before. What did you just say? I don't like what you're implying. All right. How about Miss Hilda teaches you a few manners right now? Immortalize. Akatsuki. Lin. I've whined about me not aging countless times before, but I suppose living forever does occasionally have its upside. I never thought I'd run into someone like you. Hmm. Granted, there was this other strange person. Hmm, Examu? No, that's not right. Miss Ecto? Uh, that doesn't sound right either. Anyway, you're the second anomaly I've come across. Is she talking about that strange woman from earlier? Short version, but I can't let someone as powerful as you roam free. I see. Though you appear to be a child at first glance, your eyes give you away. You've killed many times before, haven't you? I've seen your type before, possessed by a demon. Not quite, but you're not too far off the mark. So, what are you going to do? Will you quietly obey? Or do you want to feel the wrath of my blades? You've drawn your blade, so I will not stay my hand. Whether you are a child or not, to battle! Immortalize! Akatsuki. Hi. Huh? What's with the uniform? Are you in the military or something? Or are you cosplaying a character from another game? You really went all out, didn't you? Someone said the same thing to me earlier. I saw Lin passed out over there. Her eyes swirling around and everything. With you standing right here, it's pretty easy to put two and two together. <sighs> and as you manage to win somehow, I just can't let you walk away. Just between you and me, whenever I use the power of the Blitz motor, I can't really... Hungry. Huh? Therefore, I wish to find a decent place to eat as soon as I can. So, if you'll excuse me... What the hell? Don't tell me you're supposed to be the I'm always super hungry character. Um, do you mind hanging out for a minute? I mean, it's nice to see that Lin is alright, more or less. But I have to go through the motions of avenging her. If we let you walk without at least a black eye, we'd look like total losers. Oh, what the? Huh? That soldier guy's gone. Where did he? That was a close one. If that fight had continued any longer, I would have run out of energy. As no one else is coming after me, it's safe to assume that boy was my final opponent. And the oppressive atmosphere from before seems to be gone as well. Does that mean it's all over now? All of those people with their weird and wondrous abilities. What kind of mechanism would bestow such power? Don't tell me. Could the source of their powers be? I remember that the Gazelle Shaft of the Third Reich tried to develop... Super Soldiers. If so, that would make that young man I just fought, a child of the Lebensborn, and product of their selective breeding program. In any case, if someone is using that power for evil, and I must put a stop to it as soon as possible. First, I will head to our headquarters in Fuji and check on the state of our lab. It looks like dawn is breaking. Farewell, dwellers of the night. Hello again, my friends. This is Akatsuki, reporting in. I just want to take this opportunity to thank you all for watching this video. I have experienced many things in my time, 
but never have I encountered such worthy warriors in a place such as this. Perhaps I still have much to learn about my new surroundings and the people in it. Now, pay attention everyone. If you want to see past videos, or other content from this production, then do me a favor and hit that like and subscribe button. And please, stay tuned as we prepare for the final chapter of our little adventure. Although my mission here is complete, I expect a fierce battle is on the horizon. But for now, I really need to find some food. So until then, this is Akatsuki, over and out. Take care, and farewell.